Alrighty, YouTubers, here we go again. We have another special Amazon Prime unboxing to do. You guys can check them out. Link will be down below. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Everybody is safe. This is a big old box. I'm not sure what this is, so uh, try to open it. And here we go. I didn't know. Poor post person. USPS guy was kind of struggling with it, but we got it in, and you guys will get one too, at a low cost, I gotta do, click the link down below, I still need more cutting, hold on, alrighty guys, look at this thing, bada boom, Fennel 2.1 channel sound bar, feel the sound, HDMI, USB, optical, whoa, 5.25, so for 120 watt RMS, oh boy, look at this thing, got the digital right there, oh boy, alright guys, now how do I open this thing, this should be exciting. It's like my second sound bar I'm doing, so I can compare them. Uh, I think I'm gonna get up to my uh, projector downstairs for a full cinema sound. So a lot of us are staying home. I don't think a lot of theaters are opening up yet. So I mean, good way to invest some time and get one of these at a low cost without paying the premium price. So check it out. Fano. How do I open this, guys? Okay, there we go. One more. I got the sofa for right. Oh, we got the goodies right here. We got some goodies right here. Gotta be the cords and all that good stuff. And yeah, this is a subwoofer. That gets that boom. Oh man. Hopefully I don't drop it. I'm gonna put this down. It's not that heavy. So should be an easy one to hook up, but if you got older folks that are not technology inclined, you might want to, you know, set it up for them. Be a good person. But, uh, perfect housewarming gifts, uh, birthday gifts, I think it's like under $200, so somewhere around there. Uh, I'm going to pause again, hold on. Alrighty guys, here it is. Look at that subwoofer. It's like a desktop. Yeah, the power cord right back here and then turn that around that's what it looks like on the back hopefully the light's pretty good there you go and now we're gonna open this little guy A little bit more too. Extra light. It's always good to have. Oh boy. Here we are. We got the mounting brackets with it, so that's a good thing. So that should be easy peasy one. Got the power cord right here. Yeah, buddy. I think I might have to test in my room because I gotta get a uh, extra uh, power surges. I think that's what I need to get for downstairs. So we might have to do this in my room. But I got a decent size 50 inch that we can hook this up to. I do most of the game and I. But I'm not sure if I could hook this up to the projector. I might be able to. I don't know. I gotta figure that out in a few minutes. But here's on the back where all the goodies go. Aux cord, optical, HDMI TV, arc. Uh, what is that? SW out. Ain't in China. 2.1. Oh, baby. That's gonna sound really nice. But this is. Oops. Here's the front. Alright. Turn it around. There you go. Looking good. P. You know. Really nice design. 
pretty long too. It's a long soundboard. Definitely check these guys out, YouTube. And I can't wait to hear how this sounds. Definitely excited for this one. Let's give this a test. Testing one, two. Kit. This is what that looks like. Accessory box. Let's see what's inside here. It's probably going to be the power cord, HDMI cable, and that good stuff. Yep, HDMI cable. We got the optical cable. See, everything comes with it, so you don't see that too many on too many soundbars. You got these old school guys. So you could open your old school systems on it. Not sure what this is for. Oh, it's part of the mounting. Okay. Kind of like a template. And I got these. Oh. Check this out. You don't see this at all. It comes with the gloves. Dang. I already got gloves on, but. Yeah, that is really nifty. Okay, so we got the screws and then the template right there. The screws, so it should be an easy one. Just like I did the, uh, like last year's or two soundbar I did for another company. But, we got the cords here. Uh, and that's it. I think the next stop is to set it all up and test this thing out. I just need a few minutes. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna run this at. So stay tuned, grab some popcorn. Magic is coming. Alrighty guys, we got it hooked up right there. I'm using the optical cable through the Xbox right over there. And it sounds really good guys. Definitely check this out. Uh, hopefully this will be playing. Here we go. But here's the sound. And it comes with a remote right there. There's a subwoofer right here. And then if you look on the, you can adjust the volume. So I focus. Here we go. Listen to this. it all the way up to pretty much max well you could just base the treble there was a time when resources seemed endless but in 2030 the great energy crisis began up to 32 with hardly any resources left on our world global powers Change created the, the world space agency to look beyond the earth for answers the answer was found in helium 3 a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. You can tell. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonist was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. 
but a wait is unknown and unforeseeable. But the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. Yeah, buddy. That sounds really good. You can feel it. You can definitely feel the bass. That sounds clear. Um, great soundbar for a little cause, guys. All you gotta do is click the link down below. Check them out, Finno on uh, Amazon. Link is gonna be down below. But pretty impressive. I mean, I wish I had this one for my main TV because this sounds really good. This would be my uh, gaming TV. So, but I didn't feel like hooking up to the projector, and it's just a lot easier doing it this way. Less wires. So, there you go. Check them out. Link will be down below. Be safe. Have a good night. See you soon.